afternoon, sir. Uh, I would like to know the uh, fee structure for the MBBS course for the private A and the private B college. The private B, it's, it comes to about uh, 80,000. Private B, it is around 2 lakhs. This uh, fees doesn't include the hostel fees. All the private, uh, all the medical college, they have their own hostels. And this hostel fees is not included in the tuition fees. And government colleges, it is 15,000 rupees, government fee. Uh, what is this uh, OU area student, uh, what is non-local uh, admission prospect in other uh, Andhra and uh, other uh, Now when you sit on the screen, you can always see what seats are available and left over. As far as Siddhartha Medical College Vijayawada is concerned, that is a statewide institute, not reserved for Andhra area. At the time of formation of the, or the inception of the college, they have divided the seats into 42%, 36% and 22%. 42% of the seats are meant for Andhra area, 36 for Usmani University area, and 22% for SV University area. So that college always keep an eye over the Siddhartha Medical College. And similarly, this comes under the category NL. NL stands for non-local. This is not, this uh, division is not for Andhra, Royal Seaman, Telangana because Nellore is added to the SV University area. So it is divided erstwhile, erstwhile Usman University area, erstwhile SV University area, erstwhile Andhra University area, though several universities have come in that area. So this is the thing, always on the screen, you can look for under non-local category in SV University area, Andhra University area, if a seat is vacant under the category NL, you can always ask and you can take that seat. But one thing you should be aware, once you change the place from Andhra, Usman University area to SV University area, for the purpose of PG and super speciality, you will become local for that area, not you lose your identity here. In case tomorrow there is something happens, you have to own the identity of your college there, you become local of that area, you will lose the uh, local status of Usman University area. That you have to be very, very careful. If you are migrating to the other areas for the sake of seat, you will become local for the purpose of PG and super speciality. For the purpose of employment, again you will come back here. Employment is you are up to intermediate and your PG and super speciality is based on four years of MBBS course. And uh, that uh, non-local reservation is 15 percent, sir? What no, is there is nothing like non-local reservation. The Act says 85 percent of the seats are guaranteed for that local area. Left over 15 percent, the entire state can compete, out of which the local fair also can compete. If the local 15 percent students of Uthmani University are more meritorious than Andhra and SV University area, all the 15 seats will go to, only go to Usman University area. That means they are statewide. There is no reservation. 15 percent are unreserved. They are not to be called as non-local. They are to be true spirit. You are to call as you are unreserved and meant for the entire state as well as the country. Father and mother working elsewhere, they come under non-local category. They can also compete in that 15 percent seat. There is as such. 15% are not reserved for non-local. It's open. Uh, the NEET exam is going to be in force in 2013. Sir, but uh, there is one legal flaw. There is an article 371D which is incorporated in the year 1972 during Andhra agitation that the seats of Andhra Pradesh, the employment opportunities of Andhra Pradesh shall be reserved only for Andhra Pradesh. No outsider is permitted to Andhra Pradesh. Andhra Pradesh students cannot study outside except the central institutions, other states. We cannot participate in the All India Engineering and All India Entrance Examination. So if somebody raises this issue of 371D, Jammu Kashmir, Andhra Pradesh, these two states are exempted 
to participate in the national pool for MBBS and PT, including super specialty courses. But as such, NEET is in force from 2013. Unless the constitution is amended by an ordinance, if 371D is in force, our students cannot appear, they can appear for NEET, but the selection of students is only meant for Andhra Pradesh. They will only get the merit cards from instead of JNTU, you will get from NEET. Seats are same, colleges are same, unless 371D is amended, we can't go to the other institutions in the country. It is better to get prepared for NEET rather than thinking of otherwise. Any seat this year, it is better to join this year and take the loan if you don't have resources for B also. The entire B money is reimbursed in the form of loan by the banks. If you give the receipt, they will pay that amount. So it is better not to wait for next year. We do not know what is going to happen uh, by the NEET exam and all. Better to seek admission in private B this year itself. Uh, once upon a time, I, when I was a student, that was the scenario, the government college has the best of the talent. Today, the salaries paid by a private college is almost double that of a government. So, the talent, they are neither not joining or joining just leaving the institutions by absconding or voluntary uh, retirement from service. So, the best talent today and the skills are available in some of the private medical colleges. So, what I would say, why I have said join nearby, 17 years is a very vulnerable age. You have to see, into, if you look into psychology and the case histories, lot of students, both boys and girls, have lost their track between 17 to 20. If 17 to 20, if they are stable in their education and studies, they, nobody can change them, they are very firm and they get go for artificial attractions and fascinations and the mindset and one more thing is a release phenomena. You are under undue stress and tension because of the rank and your coaching institutions have put you in such a way, you will go into a release phenomena and you may lose track. As per my the statistical data what I have analyzed, about 10% of the students who have gone away from the parents, they have lost their tracks and they could not complete and they, it ended in a mysterious way. That's the reason why I say because MBBS is a basic degree for you to become a doctor. Real doctor in the present scenario is an MD or MS. Nobody is going to, unless you want to join government service, MBBS is not a great qualification. Even a rural area, mandal level, they are asking they are going to an MD or MS. So, real doctor means you have to become an MD or MS. Then you can choose the best institution, not now. Now you just keep on reading the books only. Stick to the books and library, you will become MBBS. And there is nothing like practical or you will not be allowed to handle the patients also. Because of the vulnerable age and the past, we have seen over two, two decades what is happening with the students. That's the reason why we suggest yeah. close by, by evening they are back at home. It's a very good uh, thing. In post-graduation, there is a, another panel, equivalent degrees available, DMD, Diplomat of National Board. All the well-equipped private hospitals are running teaching program, PG courses. For example, in Hyderabad city, there are more than 400 MB, uh, PG seats in various specialties, like Care Hospital, Apollo Hospital, Eshoda Hospital. That's one stream. Another thing is, now uh, about 10 colleges are in the pipeline. Once the first batch of students pass out MBBS, there is a possibility by the time the student who joins now, if it is properly planned, the existing 2,000 seats, they become 4,000. If the government has good uh, willpower and if technocrats are helping, it is not that difficult to enhance. When I took over the MCA member, the number of PG seats are 700 and today you are finding 2,300. 700 for nearly 15 years, only 700. So, you need not get disappointed. There is every possibility, in another five years time, 
the present 2300 are going to become 4000 so 6000 admission 4000 pg seats so let us be optimistic don't get dissuaded by seeing the figure of but you should have the willpower lot of people have lost their track between 17 and 20 once they have passed the path up to 20 nobody can change the pg they are very firm they are very stubborn they will continue their career as far as the medicine is concerned, ever since inception of the exam, we always talk in terms of statewide rank only, not the local rank. Though they may give you local rank, but NTR University we can only predict and we have been giving our prediction based on statewide rank only. The local rank probably holds good for engineering stream. So whenever you ask for certain query, please ask by giving the state-wide rank only. They will announce 1 to 500 on the day 1. When they announce the ranks, you go and select what you get it. Go to CAP, if you get a better college and a better facility, you can always slide. That procedure is called sliding. On the CAP selection day, go there. Okay. If you are at a privileged position, change. You can change from the original position to the cap position. Now, this is before counselling is conducted, before July 20th. If you go for a redressal of a grievance with JNTU, apply. If they find any uh, grievances, they will uh, change the ranks. There is absolutely no problem, they will advertise and they will re revise the ranks. Prior to the counselling only you have to go, not after the counselling. If you have any grievance, now you go to the JNTO and they will change the ranks. It, if there is any administrative errors, computer errors or calculation errors, software problem, they will always change the ranks, you can't fight for it. If the government or institution or agency has committed a mistake accidentally, you can't claim over an accident. It is an accident. Yes, we have committed a mistake. Now we have corrected. Your rank stands corrected. His revised ranks will be published again. In agriculture, we have 500 seats uh, earmarked for those uh, qualified through MSET. Another 100 seats from the uh, ICR quota and also some other uh, diploma competitions. So 500 seats as it is uh, available for those uh, qualifying through the M state. And agriculture colleges probably you know that all the state wise we have got number of colleges. One in at uh, Hyderabad, another at Bapatla, one at Rajamandri, one at Srikakla Naira, in Telangana that Asharopet, Jagityal. Sir, any colleges and any colleges affiliated to Acharya Indiranga University? No affiliation. All colleges are under the direct control of uh, Agriculture University. No private colleges, no affiliation. Thank All you. All are government uh, universities. Uh, as far as university uh, colleges are concerned, uh, only other universities are offering BTEC biotechnology. Only, only Andhra University is offering BTEC Biotechnology. Okay. No other university is offering. For which the fee structure is 12,000. Mm -hmm. And uh, the private colleges, it is around, what are the fee structure? 33,000 for you? Uh, uh, 33,000 cities. Eligibility criteria of uh, both the stream, biology stream, he should have been qualified with mathematics subject. Since there are only 500 seats reserved for all the regions and are different categories. So you can say that the 215 open. Suppose in the 215, uh, Usma University, about 100, 120 in uh, for the coastal, another uh, some 80 Rajasthima. These are the, uh, as per the category wise reservations, you know, these are the areas. Therefore, you can predict it. And for agriculture also, this time, it's a web counseling. Probably the students, uh, after getting the ranks, probably you are aware that even for agriculture also it's a web counseling. And for, therefore, just get awareness uh, uh, 
depending on the college, you have to select the college and also the course, agriculture or horticulture or veterinary. You must be very clear before uh, selecting a course. 